Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of Linux, specifically some of the most underrated Linux distros that you might not have heard of, but definitely should check out. Unlike Windows and Mac OS, which are proprietary operating systems, Linux is fully open source. This means users and organizations can build their own flavors of Linux, known as distributions or distros. And believe me, there are hundreds of them out there, each fine-tuned to meet the unique needs of their users. Now, you've probably heard of the big names like Ubuntu, Fedora, and Arch Linux. But today, we're going to explore five lesser-known but absolutely fantastic Linux distributions that offer something unique. Let's get started. First up, we have Elementary OS. If you're tired of Ubuntu's design and want an easy-to-use distro that looks a lot like Mac OS, this one's for you. Elementary OS uses the Pantheon desktop interface, which I think has some of the best themes out of any distro I've used. It features an intuitive app dock, support for touchpad gestures, and solid GPU support. It's perfect for beginners wanting to dip their toes into Linux, but there's a catch. Elementary OS lacks a direct upgrade path between major releases. That means you'll have to reinstall the entire operating system if you want the latest version. It's a bit of a hassle, but for the sleek design and ease of use, it might just be worth it. Next on our list is Endeavor OS, which is based on Arch. If you've been curious about Arch Linux but feel intimidated by its do-it-yourself nature, Endeavor OS is a fantastic alternative. It has simple GUI elements and custom themes, making it a solid choice for beginners switching from Debian or Fedora. One of the coolest features of Endeavor OS is its online installer, which lets you pick between eight different desktop managers. Plus, it's available as a full GUI environment and a headless ISO for ARM-based systems, including the Raspberry Pi 5. Talk about versatility. Coming in at number three, we have Q4 OS. This distro is ideal for resurrecting old PCs. It's fast, lightweight, and provides solid performance without compromising on design. Q4 OS uses the Trinity desktop environment, which is highly optimized and resource efficient, making it perfect for older hardware. But if Trinity isn't your style, you can switch to KDE or even run them side by side. Another great feature is the Windows installer, which makes it super easy to dual boot into Windows 11 and Q4 OS. At number two, we have Nobara, a distro based on Fedora and optimized for gaming. This distro includes GPU detection and automatic driver installation for NVIDIA graphics cards, as well as pre-installed gamer-centric packages like Wine, Lutris, ProtonUpQt, MangoHUD, and Steam. Nobara isn't just for gamers, though. It also works well with GPU-intensive productivity applications like Blender, OBS Studio, and DaVinci Resolve. Its design is clean and not overloaded with gamer aesthetics, making it a great choice for new Linux users who want a hassle-free gaming experience. While it won't match Windows 11 in gaming performance, it's a solid contender in the Linux world. Finally, at number one, we have NixOS. This is probably the most unique Linux distro I've ever used. NixOS is centered around configuration files and uses the powerful Nix shell to perform almost every task, from modifying system settings to installing packages. The cool thing about NixOS is its robustness and high fault tolerance. Every time you modify packages, it rebuilds the system and saves it as a new generation. If you run into issues, you can easily roll back to a previous state. Packages are installed in isolated directories, preventing conflicts when different programs need different versions of the same dependency. NixOS has a steep learning curve, but if you're an advanced Linux user looking for a challenging and stable operating system, it's definitely worth checking out. And there you have it, five of the most underrated Linux distros that deserve more attention. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, there's something on this list for everyone. So which Linux distribution is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more Linux content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.